It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Say good night. Good night, my darling. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Part I wouldn't be able to fix. 